I remember walking into a room and they asked us to clean out the servers and make sense out of, out of the rack. And I started asking questions, well, what is this one for? And what is this one for? And what is this one for? And the answer in most cases was, I don't know. It looks really expensive, but we don't know what it does. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Reardon. I've been working with leaders and teams for 20 years to help you expand your capacity to accomplish your mission. I recently had the opportunity to walk through the three keys in a crisis model with Jason Matchett. He's the founder of Partnered, a small veteran-owned IT support firm. We took a look at each of the keys and how they apply to his small business. These are questions you need to be asking yourself and your organization at a time like this. In this clip, we're just looking at the highlights of that discussion. You can find the full interview at the link in the description. I hope you find this helpful. So the challenge that the model points out is that each of these elements impacts the other. So if you don't know what your priorities are, you don't know what you need to communicate. And if you don't have the right tools, you can't communicate that information anyway, and you won't be able to carry out the mission that you're trying to accomplish. What is your mission in this specific situation? Our mission is to provide exceptional IT service, and we can continue to do that with some small limitations. Uh, we're not going to be going on site as often, but it's more important than ever right now to make sure that that's our mission and gets completed. Yeah. What are your priorities now? The number one priority to us internally as a company is making sure that the team understands that we're okay, that we're fully functional, that we're going to take the precautions that we need to protect everybody. So the priority really for our customers, what we're gonna focus on with our clients is making sure that they are functional. What you have to say about communication within your own organization, and then we can talk about some of those client situations. Definitely within my organization, we need to make sure that the team is all on the same page, that uh, we are prioritizing our customers, we're prioritizing how we deliver our service, that we understand what our current limitations are, like supply chain and not being able to go on site as often as we regularly would. Communication then with your stakeholders, with your customers, on um, what are the key points, key messages that you're trying to make sure that they hear? With the customers, the most important is to let them know that we're open and we're here to service them. We are considered an essential business, so we wanna reach out to all of our customers and say, hey, we're here, what do you need? How about your clients? What steps do you take to help them figure out what tools they need? Typically, we're going to do a three-part assessment. The first one is going to be, what tools do you already have in place? The second thing is, is it user-friendly? Uh, what's the learning curve going to be for your users? And then third, whatever that solution is, we have to look and make sure what that risk is going to be. What you have in this tool, in this framework, is critical for any disaster recovery or continuity of operations plans. Communications, who the stakeholders are and how you're gonna communicate with them and what's important, how are the priorities gonna be shifted. So I think it's a very, very valuable tool.